We are about to enter the aging room here at uh, Back 40 Artisan Cheeses. Joining me once again, Jeff Fenwick, cheesemaker and owner of uh, Back 40. How are you doing? Good, good. Good, okay. So, what's inside the closed door? Let's take a look. We've got, uh, we've got a few different cheeses in the aging room at the moment. Okay, what are the different kinds? We have our Highland Blue. That particular batch is from October 30th. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's still, it's still aging away. How uh, long will the Highland Blue need to stay in there? Uh, typically 8 to 12 weeks. So we've got till probably the end of this month before that batch will be ready. And how can you tell when it's ready? Um, that's all determined by, uh, well, basically checking them. Okay. So they need to be monitored uh, they, near the beginning almost every day. And then afterwards, about every uh, seven to eight days, you'll, uh, you'll check them out and, uh, and flip them. And what are you looking for? Um, development of the mold. Okay, so you want them to mold. And you want to check on the, on the moisture levels. So they're in these plastic bins just to try to create a bit of a uh, micro environment mm -hmm. uh, within the aging room. Since we do a couple different styles of cheese, uh, this is the best method for uh, keeping this nice and humid uh, and controlling the humidity within each bin. Okay, and you mentioned the, the container on the top, the cheese inside there is a little bit farther along in the process. Yeah, yeah, that one is... Do you want me to move this guy? Sure. Okay, thank you. So you can see these ones are just starting to get some nice mold on them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they're furry. So flipping them just keeps it nice and even. You can see that starting to develop a little bit more than the bottom side. Mm -hmm. So we'll flip them all to keep that, uh, that development nice and even. And how often do you flip them? Um, check them almost every day right. and then flip them every about every eight days or so okay yeah all right and then this guy looks different because how much longer has he been in here than these ones this one's from september 20th compared to october, october 30th 30th okay so this one's actually this one would be ready to uh ready to eat and what uh what color are they when they first go in there are they completely yellow they're yeah just off white with no mold at all on them Mm -hmm. and then the mold starts to develop within a few weeks. Uh, each wheel is hand pierced 120 times uh, in order to allow the air uh, it allow the air in so that the blue mold has a chance to grow within the cheese. Oh neat, okay. And then how would you sell it to the stores? Do you sell them in the wheels and then the stores cut the pieces as yeah, the customers Yeah, so most of our stores will buy a full wheel, they're about two and a half kilograms. Yeah. Uh, and then they'll cut it up for, for each customer's request or some stores will have it pre-cut. Okay. Let's jump back into the aging room. We've got a couple of other wheels in here, eh? Yep. Oh, I'll let you get it. <laughs> so we have our Bonacher. Which is one of our most popular cheeses. It's mm -hmm. a, it has a torch rind. That's what gives it sort of that unique texture and that sort of mahogany look. Do you blow torch it? Yeah, yeah. I actually take a, a like a little flamethrower to it. Yeah. And okay. Blow torch it. And the white one? The white one is a, a cheese, uh, a special cheese made for Vecta restaurants in, in Ottawa, Ottawa mm -hmm. uh, which they'll be reintroducing the smoke and back forty. So he'll actually smoke this cheese. And, uh, and then serve it at the restaurants. Okay, so uh, a little bit later in the show, highlight of the morning for me will be upon us. Time to do some taste testing, right? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. And I'll get Jeff to walk me through the different flavors and what you might want to pair them with. So stay with us. That's all coming up a little bit later on CTV Morning Live.